Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install iChun's Torched Mod for your current version of Minecraft. So if you guys first check off, uh, check the link in the description that says the Torched Mod. It's going to bring you to this website right here. You're going to see this info tab here, and this is what it's going to bring you to. So if you guys want to check out the crafting recipes and that kind of thing, and uh, how to make them, and uh, all that stuff, you guys can check that out here. Um, but if you just scroll right over here to the download, just click on the download there. Um, it's, you're going to say you're going to see this right here. So you're going to want to download that there. So just download that right there and save it to your desktop and it should just look just like that. And um, also there will be a link in the description that will say iChun UTIL. Now make sure you guys click on that. It is required for this mod. So if you guys click on that link in the description for iChun uh, UTIL again, um, you're going to see this version right here. Make sure you guys download the top version. Um, this is current. Uh, this is the current version and he updates that. So if, if it works for your current version of Minecraft, um, if the title says uh, right now it's currently for 1.5.1, uh, but let's say it gets updated in the future, um, he, my chan, will make sure that that gets uh, updated as long as the title says uh, for that it'll work for that version. So anyway, uh, click that download right there, save it to your desktop, make sure it looks just like that, and uh, make sure those things are right there. Now there will be a third thing they actually need to download, and that is Minecraft Forge, so you guys can check that link out in the description. Uh, make sure you guys download the very top version right here. It'll always be the most updated version of Forge, and you're going to want to make sure you guys download the universal version right there. So you want to make sure you download that and save it to your desktop just like that. Now again, I'm going to show you guys um, another mod, and that's Optifine. I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine. If you guys don't know what Optifine is, it reduces lag in your Minecraft game, so it's always a really good idea to install Optifine. So I'm going to show you guys how to install that, but it is not required for this Torched mod. So if you guys don't want to have Optifine installed, that is totally up to you guys. That is your choice. Now, once you guys have downloaded all those mods on your desktop just like that, um, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is you click on your Minecraft, uh, make sure it's open, go to Options, Force Update Your Game, click Done, and Log In. Now, if you guys don't want to Force Update, make sure you guys back up and save your Minecraft. I always recommend that anyway. If you guys don't know how to back up and save your Minecraft, there will be a link in the description so you guys can click on that video down there, and I'll show you guys how to back up and save your Minecraft. Um, so anyway, I do always recommend to Force Update Your Game uh, because that will get rid of your mods. I don't know if those mod rats are are actually compatible with the torch mod or the forge so always want to make sure you guys force update and you guys have a clean minecraft dot jar or like i said back up and save so once it's force updating as soon as this mojang gets ready so you want to close minecraft make sure minecraft is closed when installing mods okay so once you guys have downloaded those things there and you guys have force updated or back up and save your minecraft you guys are ready to start installing so if you guys see this percent app that a percent in the very bottom left hand corner there, what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to click on start and you're going to type in the start percent a p p d a t a. That's percent app data and another percent. Then you're going to see this roaming folder in the very top. You're going to click on that roaming folder and you're going to want to see this Minecraft folder in the very top right here. So you're going to want to open that Minecraft folder and this is where you see bin resources and saves here. So you're going to want to open the bin folder and this is where you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to see this Minecraft jar. Minecraft right here. Now if you just try to open it, it's not going to let you, so it's just going to give you the error there. Push OK. Make sure you guys right click on this Minecraft and open this with WinR. Now if you guys don't already have WinR installed, there will be a link in the description so you guys can download and install it from there. So make sure you guys have Minecraft, open the Minecraft.jar with WinR and once you guys have done that, um, you're going to see this meta -inf folder right here. You're going to want to right click on meta -inf, and you're going to want to delete these files and push yes. Now you always want to make sure you delete that meta -inf because if you don't, you will get a black screen. You guys won't be happy. Um, so make sure you guys delete that meta -inf. Okay, so once you have done that, you're going to want to open the Minecraft Forge and you want to move this aside. And you're going to see this mod in folder here also. But you're going to want to leave that there because that is part of Forge. So if you right click on this, select all, drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar that you open with WinRAR. And once that's done, push OK. So you guys can close Minecraft Forge Universal. You are done with that. Again, I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine. So if you just open that, um, it is not actually required for this mod. So if you don't want to, that is totally up to you. So once you guys have that open, right click, select all, and drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar and push OK. And you guys are done with Optifine. I love Optifine. <laughs> so that's why I always show you guys how to install it. So that is done with Optifine. Here we're done with Minecraft Forge. And you guys are also done with the Minecraft.jar that you open through now. So you guys can close that. And this is you're going to be back here. Where you open the Minecraft folder right here. You're going to click back one, where you see bin, resources, and saves. Now, if you guys actually don't know where at, or 
if you guys don't know where I'm at or you guys are lost, um, maybe it went too fast. Um, how we got to this was with percent after percent, then we went to the roaming folder, and then we went to the Minecraft folder. And this is where we see bin resources and save. So make sure you're in this folder right here where you see that. You're going to want to add a new folder. Then you want to call this folder MODS, all under caps mods folder, push enter, and you're going to want to open this mods folder. Make sure that folder is empty, and you're going to want to drag the torched and the ichan util right into the mods folder. So that's very simple. You just select those and you drag those right into the mods folder, and you guys are completely done with the installation, and you guys are ready to play for you guys' own torched mod. Hopefully, you guys really enjoyed this uh, installation. Hopefully, you guys didn't get a black screen. Um, if you did, uh, make sure you guys force update. Follow this video exactly like I show you. Um, oh, I always recommend a uh, for. Uh, phew. Back up and save your Minecraft. That's always very smart to do in case you guys don't want to lose your mods and in case you don't want to get black screen. So make sure you guys always do that. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys again. Like I said, um, if it did, please leave a like. That always helps a lot. So thank you guys again so much for watching.